Hello, this is Alex Walker with WideOpenCamera.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use R3D files with Avid Media Composer 6 or Symphony 6. Uh, the workflow is the same between the two applications. The only real difference between Media Composer 6 and Symphony 6 is that Symphony has um, more comprehensive finishing and color correction features than Media Composer. First of all, a little disclaimer. This is a workflow developed from my personal experience. Please take from it what you will adapted to suit your needs. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, post them in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you. We're going to start out in Red Cine X Pro. Uh, we're using files from a Red MX that were um, shot using a Steadicam operated by Brent Johnson featuring Christopher Marino. This is basically where we're going to one light our R3D files. And right now the R3D files are on the media drive. And uh, all you need to do is drag one of them down to your sequence, open it up. I am on a uh, MacBook Pro from 2008, so I have to keep it at 1 8 for uh, performance purposes. But uh, basically, let's say you are on set and you've got all the files off the card. Uh, basically, you're going to go through and give each of them a one light. Uh, bear with me while I make a quick grade. Now that the uh, quick grade is finished, you can save it by hitting this plus sign. Uh, and then let's say that you have some more R3Ds that were shot under similar lighting conditions. and. Um, you want them to have the same look that you just created, so uh, just select your look and then hit bin all clips and hit apply. And now these other clips have the same grade that uh, you created for the first clip. Obviously this isn't the same lighting or situation as the first one, so uh, it doesn't match, but for demonstration purposes it's that easy. Also note that um, you know, under preferences you need to make sure that automatically save RMD files is uh, selected because what you're actually doing is saving these color corrections as metadata and this is important because when you're in Avid Symphony and you go to file link to AMA volume to bring up the um, volume containing the original R3D material uh, it will actually load the RMD file with it. So if you uh, right click on one of the AMA linked files and then hit um, set source settings you'll see that up here under um, settings it says look to and as you, you recall in Red Cine X we just created look to. Um, at the moment uh, the red AMA plugin does not support red color 3 or red gamma 3 so we're going to just have to roll with red color 2 and red gamma 2 for now. Uh, it's not important to maximize the range because we are going to take these files offline and it's just for editorial. We're going to relink back to the originals for finishing after this. So uh, let's open up our uh, DNX HD offline bin and then option drag the R3 file that we need. Uh, go to uh, Tools, Media Creation, uh, Mix Down, and Transcode. And under R3D Source Quality, just uh, put half for best quality. Uh, the, for a uh, 1080 file, a half debayer is uh, perfect quality. You're not going to see any difference between full debayer and half debayer at 1080. Um, so let's go back to consolidate transcode, media drive 3, DNX HD 36 is our tar target re resolution, still a very good resolution for editing. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and hit transcode. Okay, now that the uh, R3D has finished transcoding, to uh, DNX HD 36, you can see it's created the dot new clip. Remember, we're not supposed to edit with these. We need to relink, relink the AMA clip 
to the DNA DNX HD clip. So just right click on the AMA clip, uh, select relink, select the uh, drive that we used earlier to transcode to, and then select specific resolution and DNX HD 36. Then hit OK. Uh, it will scan the volumes and then locate the media and relink it. So uh, open up uh, offline sequence. Uh, create a new sequence and this is going to be our edit. And uh, stand by while I make a quick edit. Okay, and uh, now that our edit is done, let's say that this uh, sequence is our final cut. Let's go to online sequences, and then option, drag this, rename it to online, and the uh, current date. Close the bins that you're no longer working in. and then go to your finder and eject the hard drive that contains the offline files and there you go see all the files have gone offline uh, and now it's as simple uh, relinking is as simple as going to file link to AMA volume uh, let's see where are those R3Ds there they are, hit open. And there you go. Sometimes it'll say offline for a few seconds even though uh, it is clearly online. Um, but now you are relinked back to the original R3D files. Let's say you want to uh, finish at 1080. Uh, this is where uh, Media Composer 6's new RGB format uh, feature comes in handy. Just uh, go to Format here and switch it from YCBC R709 to RGB. See, there it goes, finally switches over to AMA video. Let's uh, make a copy of our final sequence. Rename it to Final Cut. May 17th, May 12th. Okay, and if we are going to be uh, mastering our sequence at 1080, we're not going to want this look that we created earlier in Red Cine X. So, uh, in order to get rid of that, uh, right-click on your on your on your bin, set bin display, and then select Show Reference Clips, and this will bring up the AMA linked clip. This is the R3D file. Uh, right-click on that and go to set source settings and uh, for red gamma 2 switch that over to red log film and what this does is flattens it out so that even though we are going from raw to DNX HD 444 uh, we're still gonna retain some of that range and be able to uh, have more information to use for the grade uh, hit apply and then hit OK and then right click on the sequence hit refresh sequence and then source settings and then there it goes and um, finally right click on the sequence select consolidate transcode and the uh, RGB switching the format to RGB allows us the option to transcode to DNX HD 444 select that Make sure it's on the right drive and then hit transcode. After the AMA linked file has been transcoded to DNX HD 444, you can go ahead and open up the uh, new sequence that it created. Don't worry about using the .new files. You can use them now because you don't really need to worry about relinking to AMA now because this is our final step. So uh, let me just uh, go ahead and do a real quick grade on this. After your grade is done, you can go ahead and export. 
the uh, final sequence. Uh, hit options. All this is already correct. And then hit uh, format options. Hit settings. And uh, select, uh, well, I think for now I'll just select that ProRes 444. And then hit save and uh, export. And that's it for the R3D workflow tutorial. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, please, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I'm going to leave you with some of the final graded red material. Thank you for watching. <laughs>